Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. So I'm really excited to share some great stretches today to help you release the quadratus lumborum. And uh, the stretches today are going to help you release this muscle um, with effective techniques. And at the end, I also wanna share a great release techniques with a massage ball or a tennis ball. So I'm gonna get started here with some standing stretches and then we'll get on the floor. And I wanna show you some really fantastic stretches to target this deep lower back muscle. All right, so the first stretch for uh, to target that deep quadratus lumborum, which is a lower back muscle that tightens up usually uh, when we're doing a lot of like side bending or generally just from sitting too long you know if you're sitting kind of leaning on that side you know you tend to build up that tension there also if you're driving or if you're in the passenger seat maybe you're leaning too much on this side that can also tighten up the ql but in general it's usually from prolonged sitting you know it can tighten up over time and it's mostly on just one side so it can be really tough to get to this muscle and release it um, because once it tightens up, it can really like pull that, um, create a lot of pressure here. It can be felt all the way down the glutes. So it's really important to make sure that it is the QL that's tight, but usually the, you're gonna start to feel some tension here first before it starts to radiate down. And uh, these stretches hopefully will get you relief, but I know how tough it is sometimes to get to this muscle, but it's not impossible. All right, so I'm gonna get started here facing a wall. I wanna get you to place your hands on the wall. So for this stretch, I want you to get um, on a 90 degree position from your shoulders, hips, and feet. So we're gonna slide down here, just letting the shoulders drop, rolling those hips forward Stretch in one leg at a time. And now I want to do something different. So I'm going to bring one leg forward so that I'm really focusing on just that right leg here. I'm kind of placing my hand my right hand a little bit to the left. I'm just going to, again, lengthen that right side here by just slightly rolling. So I'm going to roll my head to the right side and up to really feel it get into that side lower back area. And I'm gonna bring back again my feet. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. So again, bringing that one leg forward. We're gonna do the opposite side. So just kind of a bit of a rotation, feel it in in the lower back. And lengthening your back as well. Coming back to starting position. All right, we're gonna get on the floor. So we're gonna get on the floor here. We're gonna get into that child pose. So come down here, resting your glutes on your heels, rubbing your hands forward. Stretching out your arms. So from here, I'm gonna move your hands to the left. Feeling a nice stretch on the side of your lower back. And now just move to the other side. to center and 
Now we're gonna get into the seated position. I'm gonna cross our legs. All right, so you're gonna bring your arm up, have your opposite hand on your knee here for support. We're gonna lean to the side. And as you're doing so, just grab that hand here, just pull your knee here to, to help you lengthen this side more. I'm gonna really feel that side opening up, creating more space here. And bringing that arm down, we're gonna do the other side. So again, reach into the side. And coming back to center. So I'm feeling my lower back really releasing right now. So I really hope it is the same for you. And I wanna share another stretch that will really get that um, QL to release. And it will also help you release the tens tensor fascia lata, which is another side muscle that can tighten up and create some side hip pain. So you're gonna get on your side. You're gonna get started here by having both legs stacked here and just kind of you know position yourself to support yourself here with your hands we're going to bring that top feet forward you know the knee should be facing the ceiling so make sure everything is aligned so from here we are going to press up and really lengthen this area here so we're going to press with your hand And a nice stretch here, side of your lower back. And slowly coming back down and we'll switch sides. Again, having your knee facing up. And press up with your hand. stretch on the lower side of your lower back and gently coming back down all right I really hope you've enjoyed these stretches so this should really help you feel better right away if you have that tension in the QL and the paraspinals. Um, but if you notice that the, the pain just won't go away or just keeps coming back, make sure to do the releases also. There's a great release you can do to release um, the QL with a tennis ball or massage ball. And I'll, I wanna show you just quickly how. I also have a PDF for the QL stretches that you can download and keep with you for easy access. The link is below the video, so make sure to grab it. It has all of the great quadrator slumborum stretches uh, at your convenience. So you can download the PDF and just access it to review these stretches at any time. All right, so for the QL release, you can use a massage ball. You can also use a tennis ball if you don't have a massage ball. So I prefer to do this release against the wall versus on the floor, but you can also do it on the floor. 
All right, so what you want to do first is you want to locate the QL muscle. An easy way to do that is to place your hands or your fingers on your lower back area and just start to bend over. You want to locate those muscles that contract as you are coming forward. You can also do the same thing on the side and just locate the muscles that you know you feel are moving as you are bending to the side. So that's the area where you want to place the massage ball. It is generally just above the bones here. So make sure that you're not rolling on the bone, but you are on the muscle area. So you want to get on the get on the wall and just start by pressing on that area, just rolling up towards the shoulder blades and slowly coming back down. Usually, like whenever you are feeling that this area really tight and really tender, that's when you want to pause there and just breathe. And as you exhale, try to relax a little more. And you just want to roll and press that area for about 20 seconds. And when you're done, make sure to switch sides. All right, so I really hope you've enjoyed this routine with me today. And again, make sure to download the QL PDF that is below the video. And thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. If you need help with deep core exercises, I have a free PDF that includes the best exercises to activate and strengthen the transverse abdominis. Make sure to grab it, the link is below the video.